We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man is here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. We don't know anything yet. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, yeah fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he will, Sarah. Your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of him. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave him, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What is bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you. William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, he'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. You said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. Just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you're in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He has a hard time letting you go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard when you just have to come to home. I'm not into that. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call him. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Thank you. 
the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he's gone. You gotta get moving. Come on, man. Yeah, it's your fault why he died. Only you weren't a dick. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He was scared. Scared? My uncle? He got bit. Back, back in the stream. Fuck you. No way! Nick, come on, man. Fuck off! Don't worry about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? Sorry, you, 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 you still want to come with us? Look, I know when we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. But we all know you. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them. Five days? It's gonna be okay, babe. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Sure, it's clear before we bring hope. Think splitting up the group is a good idea? I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's. She's what? She's just a little girl. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Hey, we'll see you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with me. I'm fine, dude. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick and guys on shoes. 
You're just still on edge after the car. It's been What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the games. Now, what do you think they're all after? Safety. Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in there, but we've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Tell me about it. Something tells me I should take the big one. <laughs> Go ahead. Here's a good pull. Get your gun free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> Nice work, kid. <laughs> Ow. Plumbing time is a real bitch. <laughs> Pull out a machine gun. Make sure I have suppressor. <laughs> 